It's tomato season now. Many people complain about acid reflux and they have to eliminate tomatoes because of that. However, tomatoes are high in vitamin C and lycopene, which is very important for overall health of prostate. So what to do about that? I have few ideas, guys, and this is me. I uh, already had yesterday first three tomatoes from my garden and it's going to be tomato galore. So I started to think recently about food acidity. Never thought about that before. I realize often patients in my practice will complain about acid reflux just due to tomatoes. I will ask, how about coffee, wine, or oranges? The answer will be no. Or sometimes they will say yes to tomatoes, coffee, oranges, and they will say, listen, recently I developed acid reflux when I eat bananas. Of all things, bananas. They are not that acidic food. So I started to look into food acidity and look what a surprise what I discovered. So we already know or I know that pH of the stomach is very acidic. It's around 2. But look at the gelatin dessert. Probably as acidic as a stomach environment. Concord grapes, pickles, blueberries, blackberries. In this list, tomato and tomato products, such as tomato sauces, they are not as acidic. Have you ever heard somebody complain that I had a, a cup of the blueberries and I developed acid reflux? Not that often. And recently, I got a mail actually from the patient. He had tomatoes from the garden and said, hey, listen, have acid reflux. Your thoughts, what to do? I said, in the past, we treated your acid reflux with sauerkraut. He said, okay, we'll try to sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is actually very acidic it's the same as the pickles guess what his acid his gourd disappeared next day he was fine so if you think that oh he had very acidic food tomatoes and he added more acid to that and he got better what a paradoxical ideas so i have a few thoughts on the tomatoes and acidity i'm going to challenge this acidity from citric and malic acid in tomatoes. I'm going to challenge this theory. And let's go to the blackboard and I will explain my thoughts to you. Here I already pre-draw our digestive tract. This is esophagus. Stomach is here. At the end of the stomach we have pillarus. This is low esophageal sphincter. This is your mouse and you put your tomatoes right here. Stomach will produce hydrochloric acid, HCl, which will dissociate to hydrogen ion and chloride anion. This hydrogen ion will determine the pH of the stomach and it's very acidic. It's about 2. We know that there are other cells in the stomach besides the cells that will produce hydrochloric acid. So this is the cell that will produce hydrochloric acid. There are also cells that will produce mucus. The purpose of that mucus is to cover and protect the lining of the stomach from the damaging effect of hydrochloric acid. So, I am thinking, when we eat tomatoes, is it possible that chemicals from the tomatoes, such as uh, alkaloids, tomatine, and solanine, will actually damage this, mucos, this mucosal protection? Or maybe the quantity and quality of the mucus is not that great. As a result, when alkaloids from tomatoes come here, it get easily damaged. When there is a damage to mucosal protection, the hydrochloric acid will affect the lining of the stomach, will create inflammation, and this inflammation will go out of the stomach into esophagus, and that's what we perceive as GURT. So, how you can check this concept of quantity and quality of mucus and damage to that. So go ahead and check the concept. So let's go back. What you do when you slice and eat your tomatoes, if you think that you have gourd due to citric and malic acid in the tomatoes, you can neutralize those acids by putting just sprinkling a little bit food grade baking soda on your tomatoes and see if you can eat more tomatoes. Basically baking soda will neutralize those acids. If you get better with baking soda, then you can assume that your gourd is because of those acids and it's really contribution of more acid into the acidic environment of the stomach. If you don't get better 
Then you go to the next step and you think about mucosal layer, quantity and quality of mucus. What you do, you add foods that actually will act as a mucus and protect the stomach and the esophagus. So you make tomato salad with avocado. Avocado has almost like latex substance that will cover and protect your stomach. Also, if you are having sauce, tomato sauce, you can add there several pieces of okra and okra is very slimy if you ever try that and it also will protect the stomach. You can have a slippery elm or marshmallow tea before you have tomato product. They are they will cover the lining of the stomach and the esophagus with protective layer and then you're not going to have acid reflex. So think about that guys post there in the description post your comments your thoughts I am very open. I also have a course how to treat GERD without drugs. The link is there below. Thanks very much. It's Dr. Veronica Wax. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.